Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. In today's video, we are talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand and also her liquid lips. Now, obviously, um, I've changed the background. <laughs> you know, I'm not in my study anymore. I just uh, couldn't use the study today and um, I had to be in my patio and the garden. I hope it's not too noisy for you. But if it is, hey, there's nothing I can do. Charlotte released recently uh, some cream contour and highlight products. They called the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. This is the highlighter. Hollywood Contour Wand, which in comes in two shades, light to medium and medium to dark. I have only highlighter. And the reason for that is I did order the contour wand from Cult Beauty Paid, but I don't know, something happened, then it wasn't included in my order, so I never received it. I'm trying to sort it out now with uh, Cold Beauty, and um, I'm sure they can arrange something for me. Anyway, besides that, I have today the Light Wand, which is Charlotte's liquid highlight. And also she released 10 liquid lipsticks. I have four today, and let's start with the demo. Now let's start with the shade Charlotte Darling. The packaging looks like that. As you see the Dofford applicator, see here. Charlotte Darling. That beige brownie nude color. Next is Dolly Bird. And the packaging looks like that. Dolly Bird and Dolly Bird is that like um pinkies kind of like pinky snood moving on to rising star this is rising star and I would describe it as a pitchy nude and last one, too bad I'm bad. And this is too bad I'm bad. This is like a more intense pinky rosebud color. Now let's go with a beauty light wand, the highlighter. And it has like an on off that you have to flip here like that. And I put here enough for a month. I'm gonna use it with a hand. Of course, I'm gonna pat it with a beauty blender. I mean, I don't wanna look like crazy. And this is the highlight. Let's start with the liquid lipsticks. They come in uh, 10 shades and they're made in Canada. You get 6.8 grams, 0 0.24 ounces. And the outside packaging looks like that. Standard Charlotte's beautiful packaging. And it says Hollywood lips here. So we have Charlotte Darling, Dolly Bird, Rising Star and Too Bad I'm Bad. They have the classic Charlotte Tilbury scent, like kind of, sweet vanilla cake but not too overpowering now the top foot applicator guys that i said at the start is very very peculiar it's like very very straight as you see here flat and then has a kind of like weird curve to it when i saw it at the start i, I said to myself oh my god how i'm gonna use this and i had like a little bit problems applying it but when i got used to it it's really beautiful and it's really handy because you can line up your lips too and um, I really, really lo love the applicator. Charlotte always, always puts a lot of thought on her applicators. And um, as you see, she released like those um, hot lips that had square tips. And um, it's, it's really, really nice. The consistency, as you see here, they're quite moussey. Like they're the most thick, I would say, consistency of liquid lipstick. 
I have ever ever seen. They do dry mat and um, they don't budge to, and they're quite moisturizing which is something that I really appreciate because a lot of liquid lipstick they're really really drying. What makes the magic? Weightless, weightless long-lasting formula. Beeswax protects your lips against drying out providing nourishment and comfortable feel. Anti-aging sea lavender, hyaluronic acid and collagen boosting active slowing down signs of aging for smooth plump lips. I'm not quite sure about the anti-aging properties um, because I haven't worn them long enough to uh, to see anything on my lips but they do feel very comfortable in the lips they and they don't dry your lips down and I do appreciate the hyaluronic acid of course and all the nourishing ingredients. All in all guys I do like these liquid lipsticks I think if you're after a, a liquid lip that it's very very comfortable and it will stay matte but it's hydrating you probably need to try one of these if you're after like a liquid lip kind of like how is the Kat Von D, the more drier formula, probably you won't like it because they do have that moussey consistency. They do dry down, but they're not as long lasting as the Kat Von D ones, for example. The only thing I have to say is I've noticed a lot that Charlotte does a lot of nudes and a lot of variety of nude colors. Uh, I mean, she has one like a um, red color and one a little bit more darker color, but what I would like to see, I would like to see a little bit more variations in the colors, if you know what I mean. Because you have a lot of type of nudes, like a very nude pink and very nude like brown, a very nude slightly peachy, a very nude like slightly rose. So I would like to see a little bit more variation in her lip products, generally speaking. But maybe in the future she will release more. Now let's go to the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand you get 12 ml of products 0.41 fluid ounces it comes in only one shade and it's made in italy the outside packaging looks like that now the highlight wand looks like that you just pull the packaging out it has like a on off it's that spongy tip applicator which i'm not crazy about but it's all right now the color it catches the light beautifully and um, you see how I apply it on my cheekbones. I apply it with a beauty blender and um, I apply it on top of the powder, guys. To compare it with some other liquid highlighters to see where exactly that color sits, I'm gonna put the Becca Liquid Simmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. This is the Moonstone. Then I'm gonna put the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestial. That is the Celestial. And then I'm gonna put the Josie Maran Argan Enlighten Illuminizer. There you go. The Hollywood Wand. Uh, this is the Moonstone of Becca. This is the um, Cover FX Skin Enhancer Drops in Celestial. And this is the Josie Maran Argan Enlighten Illuminator. Darlings, my Hollywood beauty light wand is inspired by the really remastered tricks of Hollywood and the flawless filters of the social media. The dreamy rose gold highlighter flatters all skin tones. What makes my Hollywood beauty light wand magic? I wanted to bottle the beauty light effect from the Hollywood red carpet. Treated pearls boost brightening and highlighting to give a luminous complexion with a soft focus finish with a light reflecting particles for a natural glow. Olo gel gives a high gloss bright highlighted effect with no visible glitters so it looks as good as in daylight as it does in high HD. Rose gold pigments mimic the soft natural hue of the beauty light whilst the silver light reflectors intensify the result for a flawless finish. I don't think Charlotte can do wrong in highlight first. I really really like it. At the start I wasn't sure of the applicator and sometimes I still am because you know of that on off I'm afraid that I'm gonna forget it and it's gonna like spill on the cap I'm not quite sure. The sponge it's it's really handy actually to apply it and then blend it either with your fingertips or with a beauty blender so so I, I, I quite like it. The color is stunning as you see here and now if I put the film star bronze and glow next to it as you see, this is the Filmstar Bronze Glow. They don't look nothing at all. 
So that's a good thing. It's not like, you know, she duplicated the highlighters, if you know what I mean. It's totally different. It performs really well on top of your foundation. It doesn't drag your foundation and it performs extremely well on top of the powder too. It doesn't accentuate fine lines. It gives a beautiful sheen. Kind of has that pearls, pearl particles, but it's not glitter. My only complaint in this is that she came only with one color. I'm not quite sure that this is a universal color. Now on the internet Charlotte says that it is, but I don't know, I'm not really convinced. I'm not really quite sure how that will perform in really deep skin tones and really, really fair. So I don't know about that. I would appreciate if she comes with a probably darker option as well. But all in all, I do really like the highlight. If you're after a good liquid highlight that it is intense, but it's not glittery and sparkly. It's sophisticated highlighter. I highly recommend to check that out. So that's all guys. These were my thoughts on the new Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand and the liquid lipsticks. I hope you like this video and if you do, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe and all that good stuff. And until next time, bye.